Hello, people of the internet. Um, today, we're going to talk a little bit about um, what kind of programs and software and things that I think that you guys should learn and use and all that kind of stuff. Um, and I'm going to toss this out at you guys. Um, I've gotten a lot of questions about this kind of stuff um, because they're they're wondering what I'm using and you know it's the typical like what hardware and what software and what brushes and what um, I want to say this. Um, this industry is changing a lot. This industry is changing really fast. Um, I'm a I'm a traditional motion graphic artist. Um, I, I do a lot of 3D stuff, but that's 3D motion graphic kind of stuff. Um, I've done some map paintings. I've done some VFX. I've done things like that. But for the most part, my my career has been wrapped around motion design. Um, but this industry is changing. This industry is changing really fast. Um, a lot of the traditional stuff, a lot of the whatevers that, that you guys are used to, even in your industry, I bet you you guys can see that, that shift and that change too. Um, so truthfully, as far as hardware and software and things like that go, they're changing so fast that you have got to be willing to make those changes too. Um, as far as software goes, you know, I'm a you know, I've used After Effects and Cinema 4D, I've used 3D Studio Max and Maya, and you know, I've tried my hand at ZBrush. I'm not really a sculptor, so I didn't really mess with that too much. Um, lately, I've been trying to get into Houdini and doing that kind of stuff. Um, but truthfully, I'm I try to learn anything that I can to try to make sure that I'm on the cutting edge. So if right now it's Houdini. It's completely outside of the bounds. It's completely different than anything I've ever done before. And I'm doing everything I can to learn it when I had the chance. Um, before that, it was Nuke. Um, I was normally did all my compositing and everything inside of After Effects. And then I realized that I needed something that was better that would help compete um, with other studios or help me stay on top of the work that I was doing for, for SeaWorld or whatever. And so I knew that we needed to get Nuke. And so I tried to pick that up and try to learn that. It's the same way my career has been since the beginning. Every single time that I, I needed to do something, I would try to learn, okay, well, what's What's this software that I need to learn? And so then I, I'd pick that up and I'd start learning that. And I would crash course it. So I'd crash for a few months or whatever, and then I would do a couple projects with it. And then guess what? I would never touch it again because then we go into something else and then I'd have to learn something else and do that again. And I think that's kind of how it is now is that every project is going to be is different. Every single project's different and they're getting more um, they're getting more diverse. Like the the the, the projects that I'm asked to do and the things that I'm doing are going from all scopes of commercial to, to just web videos to to VR stuff to this to that like it's changed the the scope is not just commercial anymore like I, I'm, I'm doing things that I never thought I would be doing anyway and that's just going to keep changing and the thing is is that those those timelines keep changing and yeah we talk about our timelines getting shorter and shorter and shorter I've seen timelines that are longer than expected and things like that too and so those short timelines you use kind of the things that you know but those longer timelines sometimes you have to find a solution and those solutions aren't going to be sitting inside of the software that that everybody else is using or the software that you're used to using sometimes those those things are are found outside those, those things are from software or plugins or renders or things like that that you haven't touched before. And so you have to be willing to to turn those software and those plugins and those things like that over, find a new one and do those and be willing to, to learn and crash course and not be afraid and just be like, we got to learn this. I have to crash course this. I'm going to learn what I can to do the things that I need to do right now and then do that project. And if you never touch it again, then you never touch it again. I mean, that seriously is how a lot of the software and stuff that I've touched over the years has happened. Um, I have a couple of core things and then I have to learn something new all the time. And then be okay with, with learning from other artists. You know, maybe these artists are using something different that you never have touched before and you know that you need that for a program, you know, project or whatever, reach out to them. Be like, hey, you know, I, I have this project that's coming up. It looks very similar to something you did may I ask some questions about how you broke that down. Um, most artists are pretty willing to, to respond. Um, some are take a little bit longer than others because, you know, we're all really busy. Um, we have our work life and our life life. Um, but I know me, if you have any questions or anything like that, feel free to reach out. Um, if I if I see something in there that I can help you with, I promise I will, I will message you right back. Um, because again, you know, we, we, we are only as strong as we are together. 
and and by ourselves, you know, because we like to be by ourselves a lot, but by ourselves, we were pretty weak. Um, and I think together we're just going to get better and better. We're going to make better stuff. Um, we're going to be a little bit more united and hopefully that'll help the industry grow. Um, as far as software and hardware and stuff like that, don't be concerned. Um, things change a lot, you know, but that's okay. Be willing, like have your, have your mind and stuff open to, to learning some new stuff. Um, that'll help you grow in your craft, no matter what it is, no matter what it is. If you're just a map painter or whatever, I mean, there's other things you can learn that are just gonna help you make those things better. Um, or a sculptor or an animator or a, you know, whatever it is. I mean, you're, you're gonna be able to find something in there that's gonna help you get better. Um, and there's definitely, I mean, the evolution of software is crazy. I mean, the amount of software that has changed over even the past two years is crazy. And the amount of hardware stuff that's changed over the past couple of years is crazy. So so you have to be willing to make those changes along with it. Um, and you have to be able to, to adapt to that or somebody else will. And, and if that happens and you're not trying to at least stay on top of it, you know, at least be willing to, to do that kind of stuff, then those jobs that you're doing right now, they, they will shrink and they will shrink and they will shrink until they're no longer there. Um, which is the sad part about this industry. We just don't have a chance to sit and do the same thing for 30 years, you know, which is okay. You know, I'm all right with that because it, it keeps everything evolving and it keeps it interesting. Um, and that's kind of why I got in this field because it was fun. It was interesting. It was, it was, a, it was a, a, an, a, a chance for me to step out and do something continuously different. Um, so I know that I didn't really go into specifics about hardware and stuff, but I want you guys to, to know that that uh, uh, if you have any questions or any anything outside of what I've talked about, just please message me or let me know, um, and I'll either message you back or I'll do a video about it. Thank you guys so much for your time. I'll see you in the next video.